Hi everyone, I am so excited for this week's video. I've got a bag here full of Trader Joe's snacks and whatnot. I actually had a friend specifically request that I do this video where I'm trying Trader Joe's stuff as well as make more food videos. I also thought it would be interesting for me to make this video because I do have viewers from Japan who obviously don't have a Trader Joe's. Let's see, okay. So the first thing I've got here are some rice crackers and these are soy sauce rice crackers and I've tried these before and they are one of my favorites and I feel like people don't know about them. So these are tiny little rice crackers, like they're very small. And they're kind of like Japanese senbei, which is like a soy sauce rice cracker, but they're usually a lot bigger, thicker, crunchier, a lot more soy sauce flavoring so these are just kind of like the toned down mini versions and they also have like an incredible crunch and they're just so snacky because they're so small and just like crunchy it's kind of hard to stop eating them these are like an 8 out of 10 for me i really really like them they could add a little bit more soy sauce though but this is like perfect for like bringing to a picnic next oh my god these need to be in the fridge cheese stick so hopefully those aren't bad anymore let's try this next these are apple fruit snacks I think they're little gummies and they're made with honey crisp apple juice concentrate, which if I haven't made it clear, honey crisp is my favorite apple. Oh my god. They're like little apples. Can you see? Mmm. First of all, they're not gummy like a fruit snack. They're kind of like hard. So they don't have that like sticky texture to them. And they also don't taste amazing either. Two out of 10. I feel like a kid would be really sad to get these. Okay, next. I've already talked about these on Instagram before, but they deserve a second shout out. These are the Brookies and they're half cookie, half brownie. They're so moist. That's what I like about them. Here it is. I feel like you can already tell by how it looks. Like it, it's good. It's kind of weird because they don't taste exactly like a cookie and a brownie. It was clearly formulated to be this thing that's like together. Okay, next I've got these sweet potato chips. This is something that Kevin picked out. I'm not crazy about sweet potatoes. Don't really like yams. Don't really like sweet potato fries. I'll eat them from time to time though. Here's a chip. It's a weird texture. They have a weird like, like perfumey taste. Oh, I think it's the sunflower oil. It's a little floral, which is weird. Mm, they're not bad though, like a four out of 10. Okay, this next thing I got, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna eat this, but it's a jam. It's called the super fruit spread. It's made with morello, cherries, pomegranate juice, and wild blueberries. And I bought this because I want to make peanut butter and jellies, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that for this video because I don't want to have a whole sandwich. I guess I'll just have a little lick. All right, I've got a spoon here. It doesn't taste the way that I want it to taste. It kind of has like a wine aftertaste. It's okay, it's not bad. It does kind of taste like a super fruit, like super food kind of taste. I don't know. I would just get regular like strawberry jam next time, that's for sure. Is that like a weird thing to try? I don't know, I was just like walking up and down the aisles and just like picking out whatever I wanted to get. So the next few things I have are things that I actually have to like cook. So I got one of their instant ramens. I wanted to try it. This is the miso one, so I guess I'm gonna boil some water. I'll be right back. Okay, the water's boiling, and I opened the ramen, and it looks kind of weird. I don't know. Okay, there was an oil packet at the bottom. Why is it clear? This is weird. And then the soup packet. But uh, while we wait for the water to boil, I've got two drinks here. I've got this strawberry chia smoothie. This is like something that like my friends and I grew up drinking as a kid. It's pretty decent though. I haven't had it in a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is really good. Obviously this is like way healthier for you than like getting a strawberry outside your refresher from Starbucks or just like soda and stuff. It has like a really good strong strawberry puree flavor. It's got a weird texture though because of the chia seeds, right? Like you can see there's a ton of chia seeds like blended up in there. I don't know, the texture is just like a little bit thicker, which I think is appropriate because they like call it a smoothie, but if you've got like a texture issue, I don't know. It's good though. Try this. Don't try the vanilla chai though. It looks really tempting. The packaging is similar. It's so cute. It's in the same area. That shit does not taste good. Okay, this is something new. This is Trader Joe's organic orange juice cold pressed. And it's like, like the cold pressed juice where there's like all the pulp and like the liquid. This is basically just fancy orange juice, but I wanted to try it. High in vitamin C, good source of potassium. Yeah. I don't know why I decided to try this. It's just orange juice. <laughs> 
Wow, I kind of regret spending money on this. This is like the least exciting thing I could have picked out. Okay, I just added the water, but I was supposed to add the soup packet first. I don't understand why it's a clear oil. They told me to remove the whole lid and now they're telling me to cover it tightly. Like, I can't do both. I'm gonna let that sit. It says six minutes, so that's a long time. All right, while we wait, I've got a couple more things here. So Trader Joe's also has like body products, skincare products, that sort of stuff. And one of the things that I was interested in was the moisturizing face lotion with SPF 15. I have my like everyday SPF 30 moisturizer that I just find is too sticky and I really don't like wearing it as an everyday, especially during the weekdays when I literally don't go anywhere except for staying inside the apartment. So I thought that it would be fine to like get something with low SPF. And as long as this doesn't break me out and smells, hmm, eh. I'm not gonna try this today because I already have like my makeup done and stuff. So this is something I'll probably update you guys with on the vlog. Okay, this is like the last snack thing I have. Okay, so these are chocolate covered espresso beans. It says, inspired by your favorite sweet coffee combination. I'm assuming there's different flavors because like they look different, obviously. It looks like there's three different versions. There's the kind of milky brown, a like speckled one and dark brown. Let's just do it in that order. This one first. I can't tell what that's supposed to taste like. I think it's supposed to taste like caramel. It's good though, but I'm used to the Starbucks chocolate covered espresso beans and those are like legit the whole espresso bean covered in chocolate. This feels like it might be half the espresso bean because I couldn't taste it that much. It definitely felt like there was more chocolate on it. Okay, the speckled one next. I also have no idea what that one was supposed to taste like. It did taste different from the first one, but there's no distinct flavor to them. They're just kind of like sweet chocolate covered espresso beans, but there's definitely more of a flavor than just like chocolate. I don't know what it is. Okay, last one. Okay, yeah, that last one with just the brown chocolate. I think this is supposed to be like a mocha. It's just chocolate. That one had a distinct chocolate flavor. I can't tell about the other one. My guess would be that the first one is like caramel and the speckled one reminds me of cookies and cream, but like, I don't know where people are having cookie and cream coffee, so. It's good though. This is a cute snack. Let's say, oh, have I been ranking everything? I'll go back and do that. But uh, these espresso beans, I'd say eight out of 10. Pretty good, but probably not like my first pick of anything. Juice, I'd say this is like a seven out of 10. It honestly tastes really, really good. I'm just gonna give it a seven just cause it's not something that I'm gonna like reach for all the time, I guess. The orange juice is kind of like a four out of 10 cause actually it's not even their fault. I just had high hopes for plain orange juice and it had nothing special to offer me, so it's good. <laughs> okay, the fruit spread, three out of 10. So uh, let's try this instant ramen, shall we? Oh wait, I don't think it's cooked. The noodles are still pretty hard. I really don't know about this one. I feel like it'd be pretty hard to like mess up cup ramen, but okay, I'm gonna put these back in the fridge. Okay, while I was in my fridge, I found this and I just needed to remind you guys again that this is the best pesto. Vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. It doesn't taste like kale or cashew or it doesn't, it tastes like pesto. It's delicious. It's a thicker pesto. You can see it's like a big paste. This stuff, pastas, sandwiches. Yeah, those two. This, wow, pesto, mm, mm-hmm. Okay, so the noodles aren't done yet, so I thought I would show you guys the last two things that I have in the lineup. So this was a specific request. So I asked on my Instagram, what are some things that people think I should try at Trader Joe's? And my friend recommended these. They're tempura cauliflower. So this is supposed to be like Kung Pao chicken, and I've seen a lot of recipes where cauliflower is used to replace chicken, but I've never actually tried any of them, so I wanna see how this is, so. Pick this up, this is from the frozen aisle. Trader Joe's does phenomenal frozen food. They're really, really easy for like college students who don't wanna cook. Although I do find their portions to sometimes be too small, even for me and I eat small. Um, and then the last thing I wanna try are the chicken soup dumplings. I have tried these before. Do remember liking them but this is also a request. Okay, so those freezer food stuff, I'm gonna try it later just cause I don't have the stomach capacity to eat all this stuff right now, especially cause I already ate lunch. I didn't check my Instagram to see what else people said. Okay, so the tempura cauliflower. One of my friends said pumpkin spice pancake mix, pumpkin spice anything, and Trader Joe's really like has so much pumpkin stuff. Like there was pumpkin pasta, pumpkin pasta sauce, soups, pancake mix, 
crackers, snacks, like everything pumpkin spice you can imagine. There was also like a brookie, or I think it was like a blondie, like pumpkin spice little fudge bar things that they had too. Those look tempting, but I'm just not crazy about pumpkin spice stuff. The only thing I really go hard for is like the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. That stuff, that stuff is bomb. But uh, I'm not crazy about the pumpkin spice. I'll have a couple pieces of pumpkin bread, whatever, but it's, it just wasn't worth for me to like go out and buy like a whole thing that was pumpkin spice and then like like it for one bite and not want to eat anymore, you know? So. Forgive me. Somebody said mochi crackers. I don't think I saw those. They're apparently in a white and black bag. Those sound interesting. I got two people saying everything but the bagel seasoning. I actually do have that stuff. I don't know where it is. Okay, here's my thing with the everything but the bagel seasoning. Interesting to me that it gets so much hype when it's so simple, when it's just like sesame seeds and what is it? Is it like the garlic and salt? Trader Joe's really nailed the marketing with that one. You know what I mean? I do have that stuff though. I rarely use it. Oh, someone said the Takis. I was actually looking for them and I don't know what it is with this Trader Joe's that's near us, but it has like the smallest cracker aisle I've ever seen, like chip aisle. So they didn't have the Takis, but I actually was looking for them and I really wanted them. Okay, is this ramen done yet? The noodles are just, don't seem cooked. The noodles are very thick. They don't seem cooked, but it's definitely been well over six minutes. I don't love it. Let me try the soup. Mm. The broth isn't bad. This is the miso flavor, so it does have like the miso flavor to it. But it's not like they just like threw in like miso soup. It actually has kind of like a ramen based quality with it. I think it might be that oil added to it. But the noodles aren't good. Like I said, they don't seem cooked, but I do like my noodles to be really soft. So that's a personal preference for me. They don't taste amazing though. And I don't like the texture of them. I ran out of storage on my card. I was saying the noodles. They go against everything that I like in ramen noodles. I like noodles that are curly and soft. These are straight and hard. <laughs> Honestly, I might be the only person who's buying Trader Joe's instant ramen anyways. And this is like the first and last time I'm gonna be buying this, so I would say it's a two out of 10. It honestly feels like it's spaghetti. Okay, I'm gonna take a break from eating and then I will cook the frozen stuff and come back. Alrighty, so it's a couple hours later. I'm having the soup dumplings now. These are super easy to make because all you have to do is microwave them. Okay, here we go. These taste really good. They have actual soup in them, right? So when you bite them, it kind of just like in your mouth, which means when they're really hot, they're kind of risky to eat, but they taste really good. These are a nine out of 10 for me. I definitely really enjoy them. The only thing is, is that they come with six and it's just like not exactly a full meal. Like you would want to eat maybe like rice with it, but it's not really the size that you'd split. I don't know, the sizing of it's kind of weird, but really good and super easy to make, which I really like. All right, last thing we're trying is the tempura cauliflower. Cooked it in the toaster oven. Mm, it's not that spicy. <laughs> it's a little spicy. My boyfriend's heavily sensitive. It's okay. I don't think it does a great job at mocking chicken, but it's all right. I probably wouldn't get this again though. Like a three out of 10. Sorry, Janae. <laughs> Janae told me to try this, but uh, just not my favorite. And that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously there's a lot of stuff that I miss. Trader Joe's has a lot of stuff out there and I am more than happy to do a part two, try more stuff. If you have specific things you want me to try, just let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.